with Cibola Burn. <laughs> we have some amount of, uh, well, I guess in one case, uh, of closure for, for a story, uh, for one character in particular. But uh, it's, it's a setup for next season, you know. <laughs> the story goes on. So what happened? Uh, when Miller made contact with the power source, well, it, it apparently worked. He's gone. And uh, he even gets a little funeral, uh, thanks to Holden. And uh, But now, um, what's interesting, they say, well, this is it. We're done with the proto-molecule. And I, I, of course, I question that. But, I mean, uh, Dr. Uh, Ilvey was saying, well, she could, it, she felt things. She could, it was a sense of, and, and uh, Holden says, yeah, I, I feel that too. Yeah, so, so now she's kind of, on the same level he is with uh at some point i think some form or fashion of this will reach out and now both of them will uh have some sort of connection to it i guess it won't be miller anymore but uh yeah something along those lines but uh and of course when she was able to communicate with miller that's because he created that weird <laughs> body of junk <laughs> uh but anyway so uh, the rest of the aspects of, of the series is dealt with the, the, the politics, uh, Avasarala loses. I, I was kind of surprised by that. I didn't see that. Kind of, I was, you know, I thought it was, she would win, but she would lose everything else. I mean, her marriage and she's probably still going to lose her marriage. It looks to be in pretty bad shape. And, uh, but it, she's, she was desperately clinging to the power. Once she had it, she couldn't let it go. It was almost like, a, a, an addiction or obsession. And uh, she was damaging her life with it. Uh, so then uh, sh she loses. And meanwhile, the other subplot with Bobby and everything, which uh, clearly is connected with the uh, growing threat of terrorism from this, well, this Osama bin Laden character. <laughs> part of the the belters he just wants the war to go on even though uh so an, an old fighter like ashford is, is it's not worth the trouble and it's with the rings we got new opportunities here and all that meanwhile mars is uh, lost its significance and that plays into it as well there's this martian officer that ashford captures and you think well he's just a uh, he's and he's putting himself off as if he was just a hired stooge for the for the terrorist um but no, this is part of some plot to restore Mars on his uh, belief. So I'm, I, I don't know, maybe they're looking to destroy the ring so that that opportunity is not there and that the war uh, within the system can continue as it was. And maybe that's ultimately what it was. But uh, the plot is to throw an asteroid into Earth, killing God knows how many. Unfortunately, by the time Ashford discovers this, uh, and there's some really cool scene, they do it very well while they do this uh, uh, attack on the, the the terrorist ship here. And uh, but Ashford actually has some pretty cool scenes <laughs> as he guns down some of these guys in uh, zero gravity and all that. And uh, but uh, uh, he gets to drop on him and is captured, and he's captured by Naomi's son oh no and Naomi at the end of the she's come to a good place she managed to save the revolutionary lady uh, uh Lucia and all that and uh, get her to come to back to her humanity and she understands where she is and all that but in the way Naomi herself did and now she's like I've got to find my son and I'm gonna save him and all that and oh boy he's right there by by daddy this evil bastard <laughs> so in a lot of ways, it's a good send-off, and it was predictable, especially after Ashford parted company with Drummer, and she kind of had this one last look at him as if she she felt that he's not going to survive this, is he? <laughs> you know? He was pretty sure he could pull, and he almost did. You know, he almost got the guy, but uh, so he's uh, basically uh, uh, made to walk the plank of outer space, and uh, that yeah, that's that's it for him. Ah, boy. So, uh, so the terrorist attack is going forward, and oh man, what's going to happen? Well, meanwhile, Bobby in a, doesn't quite realize it, but she stumbled into this more or less. Uh, her her the crooked gang she worked with uh, get slaughtered for the most part, except for the the the, the snotty little uh, blonde chick. <laughs> I still don't like, but uh, they make up and they're on good terms. But uh, she makes good her escape, so maybe that's the last we'll see of her. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
But uh, it's quite the interesting. Uh, uh, there's another uh, a little fight there. And, of course, they make good use of, of the reality of the situation that Mars has, uh, very reminiscent of a Total Recall, where a bomb goes off and it shatters the, the, the shielding that they have. And once that happens, all the air escapes. And so you got to get behind, you know, you got to shut off the, the hatch and whatnot. And uh, so there you go. And so Mars, as far as they're concerned, they've suffered a terrorist attack. And, uh, and yeah, they did, but they don't quite understand what it's all about. And, uh, well, that's for next season to spell out. So Bobby finally makes contact <laughs> with Kristen. <laughs> I, I was the wrong. And she <laughs> says, "I, you know, you were right. I should have worked with you. There's a really d a terrible plot going on with Mars, uh, and I need your help. <laughs> and she's like, well, boys, your timing crap. <laughs> so, but I suspect, yeah, she's going to. So this will give her something to do, and they're going to be right back where they started. She has no power now, and she's going to have to. Uh, you know, scratch and claw through this, but she has all the knowledge, and she is aware of secrets and whatnot that the government has, and so she'll make use of that, I'm sure, but they'll probably end up on the run. <laughs> Something along those lines. And uh, and reunite with the, the, the Rossi crew, you know? And Holden sends in his report of the whole ordeal. She sees that, and this is still why the election's still going, and she's supposed to, it's a very important report, you know? He's detailing what happened and everything. And uh, but she's still checking the polls, you know, <laughs> during the whole thing. So, uh, so really, this is, the previous episode got you the the ultimate outcome of oh, the the mysteries of Illus and the fate of Miller and all of that, uh, which I don't think is over by a long shot. You got a, a a great view of all the machines exposed in this the 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 ancient ruins of whatever civilization had been there before and all of that. But uh, this is all setting up in the heartbreak of can Naomi save her son uh, from the path he's taken? Uh, I hope so. Naomi is just such a fantastic, a very heroic character, very well done. Uh, and I can mention some others who just failed miserably, and yet uh, here you have a just well-performed and a growth and development of character within this series, and very credible within how uh, they performed it uh, within the, this universe they've made. So all of that is really great, uh, but the... Just when you think they might get a happy end. No, no. Even Amos seemed like he had found love. No, no. <laughs> oh, and, uh, well, I suspect, uh, yeah, Amos got his revenge on Mertry. <laughs> and uh, he looked pretty happy about it. You didn't get to see the whole deal. But the interesting aspect of it, again, it was uh, his hand got blown up, but they had the technology to regenerate your limbs. So, uh yeah, he got his hand back. He made sure Mercury was healed, too. See? Yeah, there's a little bit of a gentleman in him. <laughs> and then the beating happened, yeah. Uh, Mercury, uh, with, that, with no chance of dirty tricks, you don't stand a chance. Oh, good God, they're going to be cleaning up the floor in that room. <laughs> So I, I'd be very surprised if Mercury returns for next season. I... I don't know, maybe be like a Davros from Doctor Who in, <laughs> in a mechanized chair or something. <laughs> of course, they can heal anything, you know, so maybe I... But no, 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 I, I think he's done, yeah. Uh, at least uh, Holden and, and Naomi are the happy couple, you know. They, they just, uh, let's hope nothing <laughs> tears them apart. Uh, but, uh, well, it's a pretty dangerous world they're in, so who knows, but... Damn, this was a good series. I highly recommend it. Uh, I watched it like it was a regular series, so week by week, not all at once. In the court, certainly, I kind of wonder if it, might, it was better that way. Um, watching it all at once, I don't know, but people like to binge things. and I, I guess it doesn't matter either way, but I think it. Uh, had they presented it that way, it might have helped a bit for the series overall. But it's getting another season, so uh, no harm so far. And uh, uh, we'll see how that turns out. But right now, easily one of the best shows, certainly for science fiction. And I'm sad to say that uh, past uh, greatness of science fiction have fallen so far down. <laughs> Obviously, especially for television with Star Trek. It's just so sad. But here, 
this this is great and um so uh really really happy that amazon took it up and uh saved it from uh obscurity although i you know i have to say if, if if the third season was the last season that was a pretty good ending for it. it leaves it open and you don't know and mysterious and all that um but if that was the way for it it, it was going to end that way fine well okay but if this had been the ending and it's just like no way this is too much of a cliffhanger <laughs> so fortunately uh there will be another season so uh, the Expanse continues to expand, so uh, do check it out. Can't recommend it enough. So, uh, yeah, head over to Amazon Prime and start watching The Expanse. Thank you for watching and listening. Say, why not like and subscribe and check out that link description below. That'll take you to my many stores that have plenty of goodies for you, most notably. Yes, my comic book Night Night over at IndiePlanet.com, based on the audio plays of the same name, that were originally serialized in my podcast, Mr. Nelson Show, over at RadioMisfits.com. And you can also watch my videos at the Mr. Nelson channel on BitChute.com. <laughs>